Prince, his Room for Improvement mixtape. I bet y'all don't even know what that is, you know what I'm saying? Like, as soon as I start listening to the rap. Straight up. I'm way up, I feel blessed. Straight up, straight up. Way up, I feel Look. blessed. Bless squad. All right, what's going on with y'all, man? It's your boy, Bless That Was All Said to Bless Y'all with another video. I got another reaction video for y'all. Another reaction video. And we got the true meaning of Drake's God's plan. It will shock you. And this, I was about to react to God's plan, but I was like, everybody doing that. You know what I'm saying? I gotta be a little different, you know? And I saw this, I was like, dang, the true meaning of Drake's God's plan official music video. So I was like, okay, let me see what this is about. So we're going to look at it together. I haven't seen it yet. So let's get into the jump lane full screen. Let's go. Everybody, welcome to District Trending. So real quick, before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that the reason I'm helping Brandon out with this video is because he's actually feeling pretty sick and just couldn't talk or anything like that to make this video. So anyways, if you guys would leave a comment saying like, get better, Brandon, or get well soon, man, I think he would really like that. Oh, also, yeah, spam a like on this video. Uh... If you like in that God's plan track, it's fire, bro. And I respect the hustle on the track as well. Uh, to give away that much money, absolutely crazy. What you did for the uh, for the school, whatever, how you were walking around the park giving money, I was dope. That was absolutely dope. Love that you added that uh, into, incorporated that into the music video. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely check out my channel in the description below. We do a lot of breakdowns and stuff like this, and I think you guys will enjoy them as well. But alright, let's jump into today's video. So we're actually going to be talking about the true meaning of Drake's new song, God's Plan. So this song actually just came out on Apple Music and Spotify, but weirdly enough, it hasn't even been uploaded to YouTube, and many people are trying to figure out why. I'm actually going to explain that, plus many more things about this song in the duration of this video. So just make sure to watch all the way through so you don't miss anything important. So I'm sure most of you guys know who Drake is, but just in case you don't, here's a little bit of background information. So Drake is actually a Canadian rapper born in Toronto on October 24th of 1986. His net worth is currently $90 million, but if he drops another album, I could actually see that being over $100 million very soon. So he actually dropped this song, God's Plan, plus another song called Diplomatic Immunity last night. So yeah, if you would like us to make another video problem. about the other song, definitely let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to leave a like on this video if you are an actual true fan of Drake. We're kind of curious to see how many people... You know what, y'all? I'm an OG fan. I don't know about all y'all uh, that be Drake fans all of a sudden, but I've been with this dude, been a fan since his Room for Improvement mixtape. I bet y'all don't even know what that is, you know what I'm saying? Like, as soon as I started listening to the rap, no, scratch that. As soon as I started listening to mixtapes, I saw his mixtape, Room for Improvement. I was like, what's that? Room for Improvement? So I just clicked on it and just stumbled across it. I was like, okay. And that's how I got introduced into mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? Drake was the first person. People that are watching this are actually really <laughs> big fans of Drake. So anyways, let's talk about the first thing that you guys probably missed. So the first thing that you guys probably did miss was in Chorus 2 when he says the words, I've been me since Scarlet Road. So this would actually lead you to believe that he grew up on Scarlet Road. However, that was actually just one of the main roads that passes through Ontario. So he actually grew up on Weston Road, but he has referenced Scarlet Road on his track, You and the Six, by saying, do you remember back to Weston Road, Scarlet Road? So this is kind of just where he grew up. But just in case you're still not really getting the reference of that, he's basically talking about how people he grew up with say that he's changed. But according to Drake, he's never changed since Scarlet Road. I actually kind of find this funny because it seems like it's the case for a lot of people when they finally make it. No matter what you do, like when you finally make it, you get people from your past that basically just want to reconnect with you now that you've made it. And most of the time, those people didn't even really talk to you before you made it. So then they kind of just blame you for being fake or just changing. It's kind of ridiculous. So I actually remember Drake talking about this in an interview a couple years back saying how annoying it was. If I can find the interview, I'll definitely link it below. But he pretty much said that he never changed his no, goals. Did. And then the people well, he used I ain't even know Drake a hoop like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm listening to what he's saying, but I'm looking at the footage as well. Okay, Drake. Got a little hooping skills. Kept not trying to see me in a 1v1 though, but you know. To hang out something. with who didn't have the same goals as him, they kind of just quit talking and stuff and he started hanging out with new people. People who shared the same goals. I feel like this type of thing must happen all the time with rappers because they always talk about these type of lines in their music, like fake friends and just stuff like that. It must be pretty annoying. So the next thing that you guys maybe did miss in a song, God's Plan, is that in this song, it's actually Drake talking about his future. Being who he is in the industry, just being really famous and well known by a lot of people, he knows that people want to see him fail. 
However, he basically says that God is not going to let him do that. This is actually a perfect song where Drake kind of just shows how much of a spiritual person he is and how much he loves God. He thanks God for all of his success in life, which I think is really awesome. Whether you actually believe in a higher power or not really isn't too relevant. I just think it's a really good thing because having someone like Drake that many kids look up to, it'll definitely kind of bring them into a positive way of thinking that anything can happen. He basically just says all the time just to work your hardest and leave the rest to the big man upstairs. Having a guy like that the kids can look up to has actually been proven in studies to just help the kid develop completely and just be happier. So like I said before, whether you really believe in God or not, it doesn't matter. You just have to respect that he's a positive influence on the younger generation. So to end the video on a little bit of a lighter note, we're actually going to talk about one more line as a bonus. So there's actually a Kobe Bryant reference that you probably missed in the song. So in the second verse, he actually says 81, they'll bring the crashers to the party. So like we told you guys in the beginning of the video, Drake is from Toronto. He is also well known to root for all the Canadian teams. And in this case, we're going to be talking about the Toronto Raptors, the NBA team. <laughs> so when he says the line 81, they'll bring the crashers to the party. He's actually referring to Kobe Bryant's 81 point game against the Toronto Raptors. He's pretty much saying that everybody was having a good time until Kobe showed up and crushed the Raptors and ruined the party. <laughs> I think that is that's, absolutely that's hilarious. Right and it's there. actually pretty cool. Like, you know, that's stuff like that. You don't even peep. That's why I like Drake. With the bars, he actually brings bars to music. You know what I'm saying? You don't hear that a lot from all these trash rappers. They don't got no bars. And if, even if they have bars, it's not something you can pick apart and really think about like, dang. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> cool that he's showing respect to someone that pretty much just destroyed his team. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That's pretty much all we have to talk about today. If you guys want that song, Diplomatic Immunity, that was dropped last night as well, definitely leave a comment and a thumbs up so we can get that out for you. Yeah. Definitely go tell Brandon to feel better too, because he's absolutely- That's gonna be the end of it. Me personally, I think Diplomatic Immunity was harder than uh, God's Plan. I know everybody in love with God's Plan, be bumping in the club and all that, but Diplomatic Immunity, the bars in that stuff, that, that song was just dang. It was crazy. I'll be bumping that on regularly, you know what I'm saying? But that's going to wrap it up for the video. If you like the video, make you spam that like button. And also let me know down in the comments if you found something new from this video that you didn't know about Drake and something like that, about God's plan and all that. And also, did you spam the like button yet? Make sure you do that. And also sub down below. And that's going to wrap it up. It's been your boy, Blessed Applesauce. Stay blessed. And I'm going to see you on the next one. Oh, send me videos. Send me videos. Send me videos. Send me videos. <laughs> Nigga, this great. You knew better, you would do better. All these feeling my flows on the song, Lord knows I'm a trendsetter. I'm a neighborhood dope dealer.